What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool Niagara Fluid simulation inside Unreal. So let's get started. So in my use this Niagara uh, Fluid Simulations video, uh, there was a lot of people that wanted to know exactly how I made this simulation when the player just goes ahead and just like is filling the pool uh, with the player's position. So let's go ahead and create it. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to create a new level. Of course you can use your own level but whatever okay so what i'm going to do is simply just create a new folder but very first we have to enable the plugin so just go to edit plugins search for niagara and then you have to enable niagara fluids it's in beta it will say you you know it's experimental you say okay and then you will have to restart the editor so when you have the plugin you can just right click and say niagara system and then new system from a template or behavior so we are actually gonna use a template we're gonna hit next we're gonna go down until we see 3d liquid and we're gonna find this one which is the 3d flip hose so you select it and just say finish name it how you want in my case I'm gonna say tuto <laughs> of tutorial and just go ahead and open it all right i'm gonna pause the simulation because if not my pc might crash so basically we're gonna have some parameters to control on here so what we are going to control is just expand this on here and we have all the options that we have on our uh basically on our emitter basically what spawns everything so let's go ahead in the particle spawn section and we can see that we have a sphere location we basically have to replace the current sphere location with our player's uh, sphere location okay so right now, this sphere origin is basically getting a random position that is, you know, set on here. I don't know which position is set on here, this variable. But what we are going to do is just create a new variable. So in user exposed, we're just going to add a new common and then say position. Okay. And then name it how you want. In my case, I'm going to say it player pause. Okay. Now we have that position uh, created that variable sorry so now in the sphere origin i don't know what is happening with the preview but anyway in the sphere okay oh, just gonna close it in the sphere origin um basically just go into this drop down and then you're gonna search for the variable that we have created which is player pause just go ahead and put it on so now we are using the variable that we created instead of the previous one okay so now we can compile and save it go in here just drag it into the sea so right now, of course, uh, the position is basically getting just a 0, 0, 0. That's why it's booging up so much. So we have to use the player position. So what I'm going to do is go and open the level blueprint, okay? Because we need to have a reference, okay? I'm going to delete the begin play and we're going to use the event tick because it will update every frame for every second. So go ahead into your, uh, you know, scene, select the Niagara system, then go back into the level blueprint, right click and say create a reference for the fluid simulation that we have in the scene. It's from a reference from the persistent level as you see. We have to access the component, so you say get Niagara, just go down and we'll find it on here. Then just go ahead and just drag it and what we are going to say is set variable set niagara variable position i'm going to pass it into here so now we basically can pass the name of the position in our case i saw that it was player pause so that's how you know the name that i created so you say player pause and hit enter okay in here is where we are going to pass the player's position just right click and say get player character drag it and say get actor location and just plug that in into the uh, value compile and save and then come back and press play so now as soon as i enter you can see that there's actually um a period and since i go out you see that it actually stops so it's doing something but the position is not correctly placed we have some things to tune in so let's go ahead and go into our third person blueprint so what we are going to do is just add a new arrow 
all right and place it in a position that will start in our case i'm gonna put it in here i really have it but you know go ahead and rename it into spawner arrow okay so I, I, in my case, I have already one created here. So just create another position it just in front of it, facing that way and name it Spawner Arrow. Let's go back into the level blueprint. And instead of getting the actual location directly, we are going to make a cast. So just in the event tick, you say cast to BP third person character. And then just pass in here the get player character. Okay. Okay. Now. We can just drag this and say get get spawner arrow and we'll get the component that we had in here and then what we can do is pass it down here and then go and say get socket location and with this and just pass it on here so if we compile and save a thing that we have to do is go back into our node system and in an offset you say zero that's what's grading up. Also, the radius, I'm gonna make it like 20 to make it smaller. So, compile again. Now, press play. So, now you can see that actually we have a um, an emitter spawning from the player's position into our place. So, that's so cool. Now, let's make it so it will actually add up with more velocity as I showed you before. So, let's go back into our Niagara system. And then what we are going to do is go into the velocity on here. Now we can see that there's some velocity being applied. So instead of 250, I'm going to say 1000. And then if we hit compile and go back in here, you will see that there's much force being applied right now. And it just looks much cooler. So a thing you can see is that the rotation is not being applied correctly. So let's go and fix that. So instead of using this, what I'm going to do is create a new user exposed variable. In this case, it's going to be a vector. It's going to be my velocity. Of course, you can name it how you want. And here you say my velocity. So I think there's no spaces here. And then place it on here. Compile. Go back into your level blueprint. And what we're going to do is in the Niagara component, just drag this and say set Niagara variable this guy's gonna be a vector three so just plug this in plug in here it's my velocity and then what we're going to do is basically drag in here and say get forward vector what we're going to do is just times this and multiply it by a value so just right click in here and say convert this pin into a float single position you just put in here a thousand then just plug that in back into the value so if now we compile and press play you'll see that actually is appearing where we are actually facing correctly so that's it guys of course uh what i did with the other one was just increase a bit the uh size of the borders you can do it just in here it's going down here and then in the world great uh, grid extends just uh, increase this a bit so you can get a better result that was it guys if you enjoyed the video and found it useful please like and subscribe so you can go ahead and check out my other unreal engine 5 tutorials they are very 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 productive and also very easy to follow so with all that said bye bye